What's going on everyone? Uh, welcome to another episode of LP Vlogs. So today we are actually in Melrose Arch uh, at the car event. There's a lot of a lot of supercars now. We literally just arrived here at the venue. Uh, so yeah, just gonna show you guys what we get up to and hopefully hopefully enjoy this one. Sibia's missing this one again, so yeah, comments in the comment section letting you know. Stop missing all these car events. Okay, let's go. Now, this was our first ever proper car show. We didn't get to capture everything, but we hope you enjoy the bits and pieces that we did get to capture. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this type of content and what you enjoyed about this episode. Here yeah, we have a GT3 RS. Uh -huh. Sports bucket seats, y sack package. Oh, come on, look at this. This is beautiful. Carbon fiber everywhere. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible car. Carbon ceramics. What do you think? Would you go for a GT3 RS? Here we have the new Rolls Royce Coast. Yeah, I won't be showing my face too much in this vlog because I just really want you guys to get an idea of what's here. I uh, hope I get some good shots, but where I don't, I'll try and narrate what happened and take some background shots as well. So, this is an interesting turn of events. This car is actually from the marble house that we filmed in the Les Prop In tour in Bryanston. So this is the exact car, the black Huracan Evo. Looks even better in the sun, it's so short, so small. But yeah, beautiful car. There's a Lotus there, the new Lotus. Anyway, everyone's running across now to go see the Aventador that's making all the noise. Oh. So now I have to run all the way across to go see and hear the event at all. One of the new GT3s as well. Very beautiful car, as you can see. So it rings out. It's a beautiful day. A couple of McLarens, more GT3 RS's there. There's a, there's a lot here. There's a lot here to see. So, yeah. The new Artura as well. New McLaren. Looks really good. Looking very nice here in the sun. Oh, the GT3. To see the Lamborghini doors are up. Yeah, everyone wants to be around this. In the name? As well. Beautiful car, beautiful interior. Then you have some LTs here. 675 and a 600 LT. Which one would you take? Yes. So two 650S spiders. Both of them with the top down. So we have the 650S, GT3 in the back, 600LT in the back. There's this Bentayga. Looks like a Mansori kit or something. Oh, the two RS for me. Yeah. Look at the 
back of this 2RS. Just the back of this 2RS, the lights alone, the spec. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this one is for Speezy. He missed out on this one again, but yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. 570S. Another GT2 RS. Which one? <laughs> Another GT2 RS. Look at this one. Oh, look at this Rapid. Aston Martin Rapid. Four doors. Beautiful. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. God's race GT3. Okay. Casual. Casual movements. Casual LT. Hey, man. I have the same as J Hey, man. Okay, so, I don't have white. We all have a bit of cream. So, like, hey, let's go. Yeah, what you been catching? What else have Yo, you done? Wait. Oh. Is that V12? Buddy? Yeah. The thing is, obviously, there's some down there as well. There's like a Huracan, so a couple of McLarens. A lot of them are leaving because it's owners' cars. So, really? Yeah, the ones that are going to be here for a while are all the Daytona cars in here. And the Daytona direct, direct stock. But a lot of them keep switching on this. Yeah, and they just oh. rev, rev, rev. You there, you there. And then you come back. Are they gone, those guys? Yeah, those, those dogs are gone. Those, those Jesus, this is your car, bro. Yeah, it is, bro. Did you fuck here? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get that parking, bro? I just bombed the G. Nah, nah, you're a super dog. Because I saw the car, I was like, yeah, I was like, nah, yeah, actually. Yeah. 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 Even when the comps arrive, there's someone that's a rave, bro. 
I don't want to create crowds in that <laughs> Yeah. 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 We are in the GT2 RS. We are in the GT2 RS. Park anyway. Let me see. Because I left. We are by. Inside. Oh, this is this thing. The ground. Yeah, we'll go inside first, then leave that way. Yeah, even at 570, yes. Like, yes. like he, was here, he was parked here when he was leaving. Come on. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of LP Vlogs. This is episode 9 and in episode 9 what we have in store for you guys is looking at this very cool two bedroom apartment. This is in Fresne, between Fresne and Seapoint in Cape Town. So excited to share this one with you. But as always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go down, subscribe. The bigger the channel gets, the bigger the properties do get. And if you are interested in this property or you do want to inquire, I'll put the link down in the description. I'll also put our email addresses so you can reach out directly. We're more than happy to help you out. So just looking and going straight into this apartment, this apartment is an interior design masterpiece. This is why interior designing is so important because it helps you in terms of the feeling when you walk into the room, the, the feelings that you get, that's all the, the responsibility of the interior designing, making sure that you feel comfortable, you, you wanna be in that space and you wanna interact with it. Looking at this beautiful textures, beautiful materials, you have timber, you have steel, you have wallpaper, so many different textures that help you so feel comfortable in the space. I love the color palette here. You have these neutral, natural tones around and beautiful black cladding that you have here. This type of interior designing is has become very popular using timber black members to increase that opulence of the space. Then bring everyone this side, dining room table with this glass finish and then you have the kitchen here open plan concept beautiful washed look to the flooring which gives you that more lighter feel to this entire space taking everyone this side as i mentioned two bedroom apartment to my right this is the bathroom but starting this side on the first bedrooms this is incredible because it has those colors that promote that relaxation feeling Beautiful wallpaper backsplash there and as you can see very large bedroom which does lead you out into the balcony here Maybe if I opened it, it would probably open Leading you out into the balcony and as you wake up here, you have these incredible views We are in between I think we're in Seapoint but me and myself and they were arguing whether this is Fresne or Seapoint But this is just in between of both of them So this room uses this bathroom then taking everyone into the main bedroom as you can see beautiful scale a very large bed here very large room generous and leads out and seamlessly leads out to the balcony but just pointing out this bathroom before we head outside this is a beautiful bathroom in terms of the high quality finishes that you have here we have wall mounted tap and mixer horn screw fixtures here and then you have this very beautiful textured tile that they have throughout the boundary of the shower, walk-in shower, large niche area and plenty of shower accessories here. Water closet in front of us. And then as I've said on the main channel, I always love it when you have the basin integrated with the surface finish of the countertop. It leans more towards that minimalist type of design. Then taking everyone to the outdoor and balcony space to just enjoy these incredible views if you are a fan of let's prop in our main channel you will notice that we did showcase that large penthouse just across the road there q on t which was quite a fun episode to shoot then just looking at this balcony very large balcony it connects all the spaces together seating spots outdoor furniture see-through balustrades and as you can see, the views are incredible from here. From what we've seen now, which, which is your favorite room? Uh, definitely the main bedroom. <laughs> of course you'd say that. I mean, to be honest, everything has the, the view, mm -hmm. right? So it's all a great space. But I think I like how peaceful the main bedroom is, especially when all the sliding doors are closed. Yeah, perfect. And I love the, f the use of black colors here. We have black walls, wall sconces throughout, just to increase that 
luxurious feel of contemporary architecture which is sort of synonymous in today's trending era of architecture and design beautiful apartment as i've said if you guys are interested in this apartment i'll put all the details down below as well as our email addresses so you can reach out directly to us next week we'll be showing you guys the bedroom or the apartment that we're staying in at the moment we are staying in the docklands we will be there for the next two days this is a beautiful apartment very chic and luxurious at the same time so meet us there in a bit made it back on time to the apartment that we're staying in so it's a two bedroom apartment myself and now i'll stay here for the next couple of days just wanted to show you guys this beautiful space this apartment as well is for sale we'll pull all the details down below as we always do and if you are interested in more information or inquiring about this apartment i'll put the link in the description as well as our email addresses if you are interested just looking at this entire kitchen space such a minimalist there's different components and different spaces even though it is an open plan concept they are so dedicated spaces in between this apartment but i love the fact that different themes to this apartment here in the kitchen we have this minimalist very seamless textures and surfaces here you have this beautiful season stone i think this is the first thing that we noticed when we walked in here this beautiful season stone countertop and then this side very seamless clean cabinetry space pull to open cabinetry work and then if you don't know where the fridge is you have this panel in fridge and freezer very cool taking everyone back to the side you have a separate sliding space dryer washer and then if you bring everyone on this side this is a very cool detail you have your paneled in dishwasher which if you are staying at this property from a short term stay perspective there's a nice thing to have with you guys and then if we take everyone this side now this is where like the theme changes to more of a, a chic type of design we have this it's a mid-century modern design it is a mid-century modern design we have this beautiful it's even like a, a, a tribute to the 60s and 50s with these beautiful sort of showcase artworks here it's an incredible space very warm and cozy and then look up very stunning ceiling the sofa chair it's almost a steel trowel finish to this plaster to the underside of the ceiling very smooth very good feeling and then as well you have ray lighting throughout and then as we come this side the lounge area very cozy formal or informal lounge room and tv in front of us as you come here as well this classic furniture pieces amongst us very contemporary architecture around which is very much refreshing as you look above us recess lighting throughout and then i'll just show you guys this two bedrooms one of them is behind there but i'll show you guys the main bedroom if you join me this side so here you have this main bedroom very large as you can see open bathroom that side and you can look above us rail lighting recess lighting there's a lot of lighting here which brings a mood of calmness and relaxation which is further emphasized with the you have the cove lighting there which firstly emphasizes the decorative ceiling and recessed or bulkhead design there but also gives that mood of relaxation you're coming back after a long day you're starting to sort of kick back relax gives that type of mood then coming to this side here's where the bathroom is i love this random pieces not random but these pops of different furniture pieces around like now behind you there you have a couch setup console here you have a seat here and then sort of a side coffee table here it's it's very eloquent the way or elegant the way it's been placed then here you have this bathroom connected to this bedroom and as well it's very consistent in terms of the ele elegant look to this entire bathroom large mirror and then in front of us water closet one cool detail which you won't see visually but these towel rails are all heated which winter months you never know that you need them until you use them once and, and, and then you need them all the time, which is quite funny. As you guys join me outside here, just opening up the sliding door. Just so you guys can see, but you, you'll see with the sliding doors, you have this tinted glass panels in between this aluminium framing. This allows you to 
get some level of protection. It's like wearing sunglasses on the inside of the property. It protects that harsh sunlight from sort of infiltrating in the interior of the property. So coming outside here, furniture pieces to my left and then furniture pieces to my right. See-through glass here with this frameless balustrade. And as you can see, one thing which is incredible really, it's such a unique view that we have here. We've stayed in a couple of the properties in and around the city and, and the Atlantic seaboard, but this I can say is a very unique view that you have here from here. We have this square on view of Table Mountain, which at the moment is very clear. 61 view and the entire Cape Town CBD landscape in front of you. Waking up here, having your morning coffee here is breathtaking. Just I want to actually finish this tour on the rooftop space just to show everyone the entire view of the city. So this is the rooftop of this entire apartment block. This is called the Docklands, this apartment block. This is one of the most beautiful rooftops you've ever seen. You have a bar set up here, green walls there, just to give that lively, timeless feel to this entire space here. Gas bry, and then in front of us, we have this entire pool set up. Let's actually go that side just to see the pool set up. But in terms of location wise, this is the perfect location because as you guys have seen downstairs, you're walking distance to Cape Town CBD. So if you are working in and around those corporate companies, it's a walking distance away. Divata Gun to the Cape Quarter, which is this center, sort of a shopping center, spa, bootleggers, that type of sort of cosmopolitan lifestyle is easily accessible. And then if you look this side, Greenpoint Stadium, waterfront, you have everything here, man. Yeah, this is genuinely one of the most perfect locations to be in Cape Town because obviously the CBD is the CBD but while you're here you get to be slightly away from the hustle and bustle but still being close enough to all the lifestyle amenities like you said Greenpoint, Greenpoint Park, like there's everything here like waterfront is literally a stone throw away I think you generally could still <laughs> throw one stone all the way to there I know, I definitely could Yeah <laughs> So then last is just finishing off the Pool, large pool and then you have see-through balustrade hedging this entire space allowing you to while you are swimming to have this incredible view sunset views it's it's incredible really the, the the view that you have from here as you do have table mountain lions here devil's peak you have all the mountains here and then you have this lively backdrop here as i've said in the downstairs in the in the apartment if you are interested in this apartment we'll leave our details our email addresses down in the description as well as the link to more of the property information reach out more than happy to help you guys out with this property this has been a fun episode so cool we've showed you guys two apartments which are currently for sale and yeah we're enjoying this journey of evolving in the property space learning more exposing ourselves to different types of architecture different types of home also different aspects of the build of the business rather i think i might put it like that because initially we're more focused on the marketing side of things showcasing properties but now we we're sort of learning more of the sales side of things and getting involved in that so it's been such a fun journey and i'd like to thank you guys for the con constant support that you show us we'll try as much as possible to document this journey we know a lot of people are interested in starting a real estate company becoming agents showcasing properties so we'll try to document as much as possible to show you guys how we do it so yeah for myself at Neo, thank you so much and see you on the next one cheers